Hey everybody, John Skiba here. And in this video, we're going to talk about what your credit report should look like after you filed for bankruptcy. We're also gonna talk about if your creditors aren't doing what they should as it relates to how they report on your credit report, why that could result in big bucks to you. But if this is your first time here to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click subscribe. That way you'll be notified each and every week when I provide you with new tips and strategies on how to deal with serious debt problems. All right, let's talk about bankruptcy. I'm, I'm a bankruptcy attorney and a consumer protection attorney in the state of Arizona. And when people come to me and file for bankruptcy, they're doing it for two reasons usually. Obviously, they, they want to stop collections and they want to get rid of debt. But one thing that a lot of people don't consider when they're filing for bankruptcy is what their credit report is actually gonna look like post-discharge. So in a typical Chapter 7 bankruptcy or Chapter 13 bankruptcy, you receive a discharge order from your judge. And once that discharge order is entered, any unsecured you know, credit cards, medical bills, those kind of debts are typically eliminated completely. And once that happens, once that court order is entered by the bankruptcy court, your creditors are required to go to the credit reporting agencies like TransUnion, Equifax, Experian. They have to go there and update their reporting to show that their particular debt was included in your bankruptcy. And not only that, they have to zero it out. So when you pull your credit report, you know, 30, 60 days after your bankruptcy discharge is entered, that's what it should look like. When you're looking at all those credit cards and medical bills, those types of debts should show in the notation, it should say discharged in bankruptcy and then should show a zero balance owed on that. Now this is vital if you want to recover from the bankruptcy fully because if the creditor is reporting an error on your credit report, if they're showing that the it's still a collection account, if they're showing that there's a balance owed, that's going to continue to damage your credit. Now your credit already took a big hit when you filed for bankruptcy, but that's just one point in time. The further you get away from it, the better off you're going to be. When it comes to your credit report, if they're still reporting it post-discharge, that's gonna to continue to hit your credit every 30 days, 90 days. Uh, it's gonna cause a lot of problems, keep the score down, and it's gonna make it very difficult to get the fresh start that you filed bankruptcy for in the first place. So your remedy is, in my recommendation, is after you have filed for bankruptcy, give it you know 30 days from the date your discharge is entered, look at your credit report and look to see how your creditors are reporting. If it doesn't say uh, included in a bankruptcy and zeroed out, there's gonna be big problems for that creditor. Now it's important to know that this doesn't uh, apply to like reaffirmed debts, like if you reaffirmed a car loan, something like that. But with an unsecured debt, credit cards, medical bills, just personal loans, those are eliminated in the bankruptcy and it must say that it's included in the bankruptcy and have a zero balance. If it doesn't, then that's where I come in. Uh, we file lawsuits against creditors for violations of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the FCRA. The FCRA, FCRA states that they've got to provide accurate information to the credit reporting agencies. And if they don't do that, you can pursue them and go after actual damages, statutory and even punitive damages, and then they add attorney's fees and costs on top of that. That's why I handle those cases on a contingency. I don't even charge upfront anything to the client. We only get paid if we're able to collect on your behalf. So if you file for bankruptcy, very, very important to check the credit report. We do this with all our bankruptcy clients. And if you need help and you're in the state of Arizona, I'd be happy to help you. You can find my information below. Thanks for watching today.